What's good, sneaker fan? Welcome back to our sneakers. You guys are probably wondering why these two shoes are here. Well, by the title of the video, or by the thumbnail of the video, you probably kind of figured it out why. But if you don't know, there's a new rumor about a new Yeezy V2 going out, and it will be releasing on February 25th. Well, according to the rumor, of course. And this rumor did come from Yeezy Mafia, which is right basically like 100% of the time. I don't know where they get these facts from, but somehow they're always right. I haven't seen them be wrong, not once. Well, anyways, they are releasing the Yeezy V2 with a zebra colorway. As you guys can see, it's kind of like this, like the Beluga one, except obviously it's going to be in black and white. And then it does have the red font for the supply or SPLY-350. And what I found most similar to it was this Ultra Boost right here. As you guys can see the pattern, it does have like that zebra pattern as well. It does go like forward on the shoe just like it does on here. Just imagine the Yeezy V2 with this colorway on it. And basically, you got the Yeezy V2 Zebra. I guess that's the nickname for now. Which I would have liked if they called it Cookies and Cream, because it sounds more appealing. But either one works, to be honest. But that's what I thought it was called, Cookies and Cream at first. But you know everybody says making up names anyways. They start calling them whatever. Everybody else is calling them. But let's get Cookies and Cream trending. My personal opinion on the new colorway, honestly, it is super dope. This has to be probably my favorite colorway out of any shoe or any Yeezy. I'm actually in love with the colorway. I like how they got the white, well... I'm probably going to just compare it to this one. I like how they got that white translucent sole, so you can still see the boost right through it. And then it does have this nice white and black colorway, and it's more white than black, so it does give it that white vibrant look. And then you do have that red to contrast with the rest of the shoe on the font. And then, you guys know from the last video, I hate the heel tab. But to be honest, now that I keep looking at the shoe more and more, it's just starting to grow on me and I'm starting to get more used to it, so... Honestly, it's whatever now. In the end, if the opportunity is still there to get it for retail, I will get them. Unfortunately, I won't pay resale just because I don't like paying resale for shoes. Like, I, one time I did have the NMD Yellow Camel Prime Knits, but I sold them because I paid 300 for them, and retail was, like, less than $200, or it was $200. And I was just like, let me not pay resale. Or at least that much on resale. Maybe, like, 10 or 20 bucks. that's not bad, but anything over that, I probably won't even pay for it. As of right now, the Zebra colorway is not confirmed, but... It most likely will be just because the last video that I did, a lot of people were saying that they weren't confirmed, this and that, but in the end, they ended up being confirmed, and they're also dropping infant sizes, which that isn't confirmed, but according to Yeezy Mafia, it is, and like I said, they're usually right. But then again, according to Yeezy Mafia, there is no infant sizes for the zebra colorway. If both of these Yeezys do drop, oh my god, my bank account, my poor bank account, bro. What is killing us, man? They're having, they're releasing so much new stuff. They got. Those two Yeezys, they got the new EQT releasing tomorrow. They should have three EQTs dropping tomorrow, which is crazy. It's just... As of right now, there's one more thing I do know about the shoe, and that they will retail for $220 if they do release. Which that price was confirmed for the Pirate Black colorway. I'm just going to call it that just because it's the easiest thing to call it. But hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. And that's pretty much all the information I can give you guys about the shoe. I personally don't have the shoe, as you guys can see. All I have is this and the freaking whatever you want to call this ultra boost just to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like and neither have i seen it in person but out of the high quality pictures that i've seen i can just assume that's what it's going to look like i did get a lot of hate on my last video a lot of people were saying this clickbait this and that all right well barely anybody has a shoe at least they're not authentic if they do have them maybe there's a few people out there that do have them that are real but i'm just doing these videos to inform you guys of the release dates and the information on the shoe a lot of people usually don't know about the releases coming out and stuff the only reason i'm so caught up in the news is because i follow a bunch of sneaker accounts on twitter instagram Facebook, MySpace, High Five, all that. So I'm always updated. My phone is constantly ringing. As you guys can see, a lot of my notifications are from Twitter. As you guys can see, there's Champ Sports under that. There's Sneaker News, and then under that, my boy Snapchatted me. Then I have like Twitter notifications going to my emails. Then I have Champ Sports, more Sneaker News, Champ Sports again, Yeezy Mafia. As you guys can see, I stay updated with the news. And I do it to help you guys so you guys can actually listen to it and have, have, have to read it because I personally hate reading. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you do too. So stop with all the hate, guys. Damn, everything has to be clickbait this, clickbait that. In a way, it is clickbait, but yo, I'm trying to help you guys too. Just keep that in mind. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by Sneaker Conference Lauderdale. And you guys are killing it right now, hitting that subscribe button. I swear to God, you guys are. I probably got like 200 subscribers in the past four days, which is great. You guys are doing phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. We probably should hit 3,000 today or tomorrow, just depending on you guys. So please keep hitting that subscribe button. But before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Kaneo, Kaneo, however you pronounce his YouTube name. That is my boy. Big shout out to him because he will be hooking it up tomorrow with the new Adidas EQT ADV 9317. And that was just a mouthful. But yeah, big shout out to him. Anyways. 
Make sure you stay woke. Arsenic is signing out. Peace.